Hi everybody! Welcome to this week's Fall into Crafting. This week we're making Halloween cards and tags. For this project, you're going to need the template that's on my website. So cardstock, some glue, scissors, ribbons and wiggly eyes, and some inks if you'd like to add some extra color. Okay, first up, we're going to take the template and cut it out. And then you're going to match the little individual pieces of the candy corn to the coordinating cardstock and then cut those out. And then I took some ink and if you don't have any ink you can skip this part, that's not a problem. And I just went around the edge, this is called inking, and added some extra color to kind of make it pop. Once your ink is all done, we're going to take the card base and fold it in half. Give it a nice crease. You'll also notice that the card base is a little shorter than the pieces that you have. The top part of the white will peek up over top of it. I'm just going to glue the pieces on. As you can see, the white sticks up over top of the fold. And then turn it over. If you have any extra, you can just trim that off. And there you have a simple candy corn card. Also on the printout, I included some Halloween sayings. You could cut those out and add to your card. Here I'm taking the Happy Halloween and cutting that down to size. And then I'm going to, again, ink the edges a little bit. You also could put a piece of, a different piece of cardstock behind it, make it a different color. Then I decided I wanted to be a little bit different, so I took a little piece of ribbon and I just attached that to the back of the words. There you go. A cute Halloween kitty corn card. Our next project is going to be the mummy card. And this you're going to take a piece of cardstock. This is an 8.5 by 11 cut in half and then fold it in half to make the card base. I started off by putting, I used a dark gray piece of paper to put over top of the front of the card. Next you're going to take a piece of white cardstock and you want to make sure that it's a little bit longer than your card. And you're simply going to just tear it into strips. These are going to make the strips for the mummy. I 
happened to have all the strips cut, tore up, I t again took some ink and put on the edges for to kind of stand out, make it look a little ancient and torn. I used a brown shade. Okay, now once they're all inked, you just have to decide where you want them. I am going to position them so that there's a little bit of a, a hole where the mummy is peeking out. So I'm going to start with that first so I know where I want that. And then just fit the other pieces in as I'd like. Don't worry about going off over the edge because we can go back through and cut them off. Okay, once they're all on, go back through, turn it over, and you can slice the edges off to make it nice and clean. There you've got it. Now we're going to take some wiggly eyes. I'm going to use the great big ones in the package. And we're going to glue those in the open space where he's peeking out. And there you've got it. And to add just a little extra, I took one of the little tags from the printout. I'm going to add some color to that and add it to the front. And there's your cute mummy card. Our last project, we're going to make some ghost tags. Here you're just going to cut out the tags from the template. At the bottom, we're simply going to cut it uneven to give it the ghost look. And you're going to use the hole punch to punch out the tag hole. And I again went around the edges just to make it stand out. And then finally, we just need to attach the ribbon to the tag by folding it in half, putting the loop through the hole, and putting the edges through the loop in the back. And there you have it. Some cute little ghost tags that you could add to bags of candy or cookies. Thanks so much for joining me around the craft table today. Don't forget to stop by my website to get your free printable. And please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and follow. See you again next time.